Hello, Internet. I'm Chrissy Duffy, and this is, um, we're going to read Sonic, like, my chapter from Sonic Week, the second one, where the theme is blanket. And it does indeed continue from where the last chapter left off. So let's go. The brain still hadn't stopped by that night. Sonic and Tails both agreed that Amy should spend the night. She had the sniffles and Sonic was sure fever wasn't too far off. Tails passed out with no problem that night. Sonic, however, had trouble getting to sleep. He got up and went to the kitchen. Maybe a warm cup of milk will help. Sonic found Amy curled up on the fold-out couch. She was shivering under the blanket they had given her. Sonic sighed as he drank his milk. He grabbed more blankets from the hallway closet and wrapped them, her in them. She still shivered. Sonic placed his empty cup of coffee on the table. Uh, empty cup on the coffee table. Nah, I can't read. He carefully crawled onto the old mattress. A fold-out couch was never a comfortable thing. Sonic crawled under a few layers of blankets and wrapped his arm around her. He softly sang an old lullaby as he rubbed her arms. Amy stopped shivering and slept peacefully. Sonic smiled as he nuzzled closely to keep her warm. Ah! A high-pitched cry woke Sonic and Amy with a start. Tails came running downstairs with tears in his eyes. The windows were lighting up thanks to the lightning. He jumped onto the pull-out couch and clung to Sonic. I hate lightning! His voice was muffled as tears soaked the blue hedgehog's chest. I know, Sonic sighed as he rubbed the younger kids back. He began rocking the two-tailed fox softly. Tails quickly went back to sleep. Sonic laid him on a pillow beside him. It's only 4.30, Amy whispered as she looked at the clock ticking on the wall. Go back to sleep, Sonic threw a blanket at her as he laid down on the pull-out couch. He wrapped the blanket around Tails. How did you two wind up sleeping with me? Amy arched an eyebrow. She was feeling a lot better now. You were shivering, so I gave you all the blankets, Sonic shrugged. Now it's a sleepover party. Amy shrugged as she laid back down. She gave Sonic a blanket as she curled up in another one. The two quickly went to sleep. And that is that chapter. I will put the link to it in the description so you guys can read it and enjoy it as well as the other entries that were within the Sonic Week. So thank you so much. Bye bye!